All right, first and foremost, thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring today's video. Stick around till later on in the episode and I'll tell you about how I use stock footage to spice up my B-roll sequences. Welcome back to another behind the scenes style video. Today we're filming a sequence that was inspired by a commercial I actually saw on TV for Bailey's. We're gonna kind of emulate the commercial in a way, but recreate the dish that they were making. It looked really good. I really wanna try it personally. And also there's just a lot of color and I think it would be fun to film. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's jump right in. So this morning when I was preparing for this shoot, I went on my computer and picked out a song that I thought would suit this sequence. And then I brought it into Final Cut and started laying text layers over the different parts of the songs where I knew my shots were going to be. So now that I have an idea of what the timing of each shot might look like, I can start thinking about things like focal lengths or camera movement or connecting each shot or even frame rates. So to start things off, we wanna think about the mood of the video and the message we're trying to convey. So we're gonna pretend that this is sort of a commercial for Bailey's salted caramel liqueur. The first thing I think of when I hear caramel is the caramel color, which is kind of like brownish golden color. So we're gonna leave the house lights on. This is a chandelier that's just part of the room. It has that warm tungsten hue to it. So that's good how it is. Now in the background, we've got three lamps as practicals. They all have warm tungsten hues to them as well, which will also play to our caramel sort of look that we're going for which is also why we're using this wooden cart as our surface. Now, as for our key light, this right here is the Aperture 300D. It's a very powerful light, and you guys know if you've watched my videos before, it's my favorite light to use for these types of shoots. Now, here on the other side of me, we have the 5-in-1 reflector from Amazon. This thing was fairly cheap, and we're using the gold side that way the light coming off of our key is going to reflect at a warmer hue, which matches that sort of caramel vibe that we're going for. Now, apart from lighting and your set, another thing you're gonna wanna consider when you're trying to convey a certain type of vibe in your video is the wardrobe of your model. Now, because the product that we're showing is a dark Bailey's bottle, if she was wearing a black shirt, kind of hides the product and it doesn't stand out. So instead, she's wearing this nice gray color, which is bright, still looks good, it's not overly intrusive, and it will be a nice contrast from both the bottle as well as the goldish brown colors that we have in some of the details and this countertop. So we are officially ready to start shooting, and hopefully it should be pretty easy. Never is, but hopefully. <laughs> now you might remember a few weeks ago, I filmed a pizza commercial for Pico here in Toronto. And one of the challenges I had was trying to capture that amazing steam when a pizza is fresh out the oven. On a video shoot, timing can be tough. And after filming several takes, it's inevitable that capturing that steam on camera just wasn't happening. Well, thankfully the sponsor of today's behind the scenes Storyblocks video is an online library packed with high quality stock footage, motion backgrounds and overlays like this smoke overlay, which I used to add some fake steam to the pizza, and I thought it turned out pretty convincing. As a member of Storyblocks video, you can download as many clips as your heart desires with no additional costs. So if you're interested, feel free to go to the link in the description or head over to storyblocks.com slash Daniel Schiffer to learn more about Storyblocks video. So let's just move this over here a little bit. Here, we'll leave it already off so it's easy, and then you're just gonna boom. And go, nope. And go. Oh, that one looked good. That was pretty decent. I think I can do it better. Uh, let's go again. Again. So on a lot of these shots, I'm sort of alternating between looking into my LCD and then looking at the subject, trying to kind of find the balance between the two. Ready? I think that was it. Starts upside down and then it, it rotates and then you lift it up. You're gonna lift it up and you're gonna go like this as if you're opening it, but you're not actually gonna open it. And 
and go. If anything, you'd roll it like that so that it turns to there. Now we're talking. And go. Okay. Hold it a bit lower when you're twisting. Three, two, and go. I think we got it. Here you go. Oh, let's make another. <laughs> Uh, hold it with the cap on first. Go. Okay. That's good, right? Beautiful. Need more of these. Just trying to find a path for the camera to go through. So I'm gonna pull over like this. Uh, stand in front of it. Just right in front of it, yeah. And when I get right here, that's when you're gonna smash it. Right on that, yeah. Here, test one, don't actually hit it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. In three, two, one. Three, two, one. In three, two, one, go.